Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video is going to be about a Delike pen. Yes, I can read. I saw this listing in eBay. Here's the listing, and I said, let me give it a try. So it just came in this metal tin with an outer plastic sleeve, some inventory markings. It was shipped in this small envelope. And it was Orange Connects, which is what eBay uses to move product from China to United States. The plastic sleeve comes off and, you know, this is a nice sturdy metal box. Just a pull-off lid, and inside we see a brass pen. Very well protected inside this uh, sturdy foam insert. I always like to cut out so you can remove the pen easily. So this is called the Retro Brass. When I did my research, I found that they've also doing this in a black pen with a black nib. And I ordered one. They also have this in kind of like a silver finish, rhodium or whatever. The cap unscrews in a lot of turns. I'd say close to three, which is a lot. The finish is nice. It feels good in the hand. Not too smooth, not too rough. And I bought, obviously, the Delight Super Quality Extra Fine Bent Nib. So this sometimes is just referred to as Extra Fine. It also comes in fine, and I've also now seen some mediums, so that's an interesting turn of events. It's a decent weight to the pen. I mean, it's sturdy. It's well made. It will probably last a lifetime. It just uh, unscrew and it takes a number of turns, probably not much more. And you can see it is inked up. And we'll discuss the ink a little bit later. But those threads are nice. I mean, you can just spin the barrel and it goes all the way down without any resistance. Yes, it is inked up and I do have inky fingers. So maybe we'll compare this to a few other pens, give you some measurements, and see how that bent nib works. I've loved all the other ones in the past. Let's see if this one meets my standards. One thing that's nice with this box is it's not just a printed-on design. It's actually stamped in there. That's a nice little feature. You know, in my mind, kind of upscale. So here's some pens to compare it to. Here's a Caveco Sport. It is a, a shorter. And uh, these are some of the other Delight pens in different forms of brass. So one of the things that Delight did when they come up with their design is they made the barrel longer so it could accommodate a regular converter and I think that's a nice change to that design you know this has faceted cap on it you know these brass pens also have the faceted caps what we have here is this is that coated brass here's a brass that I took the coating off of and this is a recent pen that I bought that pretty much looks like raw brass you know, the brass color is going to change a little bit depending upon the composition of the brass alloy. And this retro color is certainly kind of nice, kind of looks vintage and kind of antique in its form. And these are all pretty much about the same length. You know, these just uh, unscrew cap, push to post, and this unscrews and screws on to post. That's one of the differences. And the Caveco is also unscrew and post. Well, here is the uh, Delight pen disassembled. It has a standard uh, nib assembly which unscrews from the section and it was very easy to pull out the nib and feed 
Yeah, converter is uh, kind of reminiscent of a platinum converter. They they work well. They hold a you know standard amount of ink, and of course the cap and barrel. And here are two of those Hongdian black nibs. Now, I do like the Delight Bent nib, and uh, I just think aesthetically maybe a black nib would really look cool in this pen. But we'll see if that comes to pass. Let's bring in the LED and explore the inside of this cap. It's all brass. There's no plastic liner. You can see how fine those threads are. And it's single threaded. It's one of the reasons why it takes so many turns to take it off. But, you know, I'm willing to live with that because I'm certain it'll seal up very, very well. And that nib will stay wet. Which to me is, is more important than a few turns and a few seconds that it might take to take the cap off. We'll play it on that finish because I think the finish is really nice. And it's not it's going to show marks, you know, put this in your pocket, knock around with it, but I think that's just going to make that patina look even nicer. Call them beauty marks. Yes, I recently received my Moonman T1 and also kind of like a retro brass finish. A lot of viewers wanted me to get the pen. I didn't I didn't get excited about it. Then it disappeared. Then it came back. So I ordered one. We'll do a full review later. But I thought it would be good to compare these two finishes. I do prefer the Delike finish. This one is, you know, it has that glossy lacquer look to it. Which is uh, different. Yeah, so look forward to review in the future. And here's uh, how I do my tracking on my orders. I do 17 track, and here's what it looks like. And this pen was delivered today, and this pen was delivered a few days ago. They all came relatively quickly. So I wanted an ink in the brown family, and I haven't used this ink for a while. Again, a nice large 100 milliliter bottle. They don't sell it in this size anymore unfortunately. And I use a hypodermic needle to extract the ink from the bottle and fill the converter. And then I push all the ink out of the converter to saturate the feed, to flush out whatever might be there, even though I did a thorough flushing before I inked it up. And then I take out the converter and fill it back up again. So it's a pretty full fill. Should write for a while. The color card shows off that nice brown color. Looks like we might get some shading, not a substantial amount. Put it down thick, it gets pretty dark. The chromatography is also pretty clean. I mean, that's an orangish brown, if there ever was an orangish brown. I don't know exactly what I would label cognac color as, but it's as close as you guess you're going to get for a dark colored cognac. So I've uh, had this pen inked up for a little bit and I've written with it and we'll get into the writing. As I mentioned, this pen feels heavy in the hand. It feels like it's made out of a solid piece of metal, which is what you would want in a brass pen like this. Here's the weights. And it does smell like metal. There's, I think a viewer or two used to ask me about my metal pens, if they smell like metal. And yes, this does. So if you don't like the smell of metal, which it's hard to really describe that metallic smell, but those of you that are familiar with it know what I'm talking about. And I did put a marker on the cap, and it does take three and a half turns to get the cap off, which I think is too many. It does screw on to post, and uh, amazingly, it takes a lot less turns to do that. Yeah, maybe about two. It fits well in the hand posted, but the weight to me is a bit much posted. It is a little bit short unposted, but I think I'd be comfortable writing with this unposted. That section's about as small as I can tolerate. And we'll give you the dimensions of that section. 
And we'll also give you the lengths of the pen so you can put everything in perspective. So do I like this pen? Yes, I do. Do I have anything that's like it? Not exactly. Close, but not exactly. And when I was doing my research for this video on eBay, I ended up buying the black version of this one. It has a nice check pattern to it. Here's what that auction looks like. And it has a black nib. Let's just see how this pen performs its function of writing. I really like this nib. So just to be clear, this is an extra fine bent nib. And when you go to buy a pen and this is a, this is a nib that you want, make certain that you look for this particular designation. I think Delight does make an extra fine which is not bent and it's some nib that I'm not happy with. It's a little bit fine for me and doesn't flow as well. This one is pretty much on the wet side which is very very nice and I really like the way this ink looks on paper when you put it down with this nib. It is about as smooth as you want a nib to be but it does have a decent feedback which I really like. I like to feel the paper underneath the nib and this works well and the flow is really nice I'm very very happy with that but then this is what I expect from a Delight pen so let's rate this pen I'm gonna give it a 9.1 it gets one check for the nib one check for the build but that's as far as I can go I do like the look, ah, so we'll give it a check mark for the look, aesthetics. It's just, uh, I don't have anything this, this color, this type of finish, so that makes it nice. These threads are not sharp. You could hold this pen anywhere, so you're not restricted to just in the, on that section. There's no step up or anything. And I, I'm okay writing with this unposted, and I, I do think posting adds a, a fair bit of weight to it. And I, you know, it's about on the high side of a weight of a pen that I'm comfortable with. And of course, the smaller pen, the weight feels, I think, more because it's concentrated and you don't have as much of an area to grab. Yeah, just my feelings. So that's it for this pen. I enjoy writing with it. Uh, it's been a while since I've written with a Delight Bent Nib. Um, you know. And you've bought pens like I do, they come and they go, and, uh, you know, I'm doing reviews, and I ink up pens, and then they become, you know, into my rotation, and pens that I've already reviewed go out of rotation, eventually to be cleaned out. So we've reached the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have many great pen experiences. And this pen seems to be quite available on eBay. Here's a search I did for a Delight brass pen. And this appears to be the new design that most people have. You don't find the old design much anymore. So that's one of the things uh, why I tend to buy pens on eBay when I see them, when they're a little bit different, is you never know how much inventory there is. You don't know when they might disappear from eBay, and then you may say, shit, I wish I would have bought it. But... You can't own everything, or at least that's something I try to keep telling myself. So pick up a pen, put ink on paper, write. I wish all of you are safe, healthy, and happy. We've reached the end of this video. You notice how it starts right up. I expect this pen to stay wet like all my other uh, brassy-like pens. You cap it 
and uh, there's no evaporation and I think that a lot of ink flows so there's a lot of ink there ready to go when you uncap it and write and I do enjoy writing with this pen as I said before we're gonna say bye for now what a nice ink pen combo